A retinal vein occlusion is when one of the veins or one of the vessels that brings blood back to your heart inside of your eye becomes blocked. Uh, and when it becomes blocked, it can become damaged and then it can become leaky. The blockage of the blood vessel um, in large part is due to high blood pressure. When the center of the, the retina, center of the vision is affected by the blockage, uh, the retina swells and the vision deteriorates. Many years of increased blood pressure will lead to the arteries in your eye getting thicker and thicker. So if you think of a hose that has high pressure going through it, a natural response of the body is to thicken up the muscular wall of this hose. If you are built with your artery, which is high pressure, hard artery on top of that soft vein because arteries bringing the blood in under pressure and vein the blood's going out. So when that artery is on top of that vein, it crimps the vein, it's like stepping on a garden hose and all of a sudden the blood, the blood can't get back out. Then that blood leaks and fluid leaks from that area. When that fluid leaks, it can cause swelling of your retina and decrease your vision. It can also lead to a loss of blood flow to your eye. The tissue in the retina that was fed by this blood vessel gets starred of nutrients. Whenever this is present, the vision can go down and can be permanently affected, if, especially if uh, this condition is allowed to persist without treatment for a prolonged time. Depending on how severe the damage is and how much uh, swelling or leakage there is from that blood vessel, uh, it would depend on whether you need treatment. Essentially, if there's a mild amount of, of swelling, we can sometimes watch that. Uh, but if there's a significant amount of swelling, particularly if it starts affecting your vision, uh, then that's something that we would start treating with injections. The swelling can be treated, where unfortunately, if there's a loss of blood flow, there's no good treatments for that. If we see swelling, then we typically recommend different treatments, whether that's intravitreal anti-VEGF medications or intravitreal steroids. Different medications work for different people, and your retina specialist will determine what the best option is for you. It's also important that if you have a retinal vein occlusion that we make sure that you're healthy, that you've got your blood pressure and your cholesterol under control, as those are major risk factors for retinal vascular occlusive disease.